Caught in the axe. <laughs> Look, I have blue, green eyes. No, no eyes. <laughs> I see blue, but anyway. Let's do a poll. <laughs> oh, they don't have any color. <laughs> okay, anyways. Okay, hi everyone. I think he wants food. Hi everyone, so I'm really excited to be bringing you guys a Q&A. I feel like we haven't done one in a really long time. Uh, so I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any questions, not only relating to the recent changes in our lives, but also just kind of generally. Huh? Oh, wait, I think a couple days ago. Yeah, so I've, I've saved um, the best ones and kind of a few like interesting ones from a variety of different topics. So we're going to be getting into it. I haven't shown yes to any of them either, so he's going to be... I go half, because the temperature is a bit like half warm, half cool. <laughs> no, don't do that. Look at this. That looks... that doesn't look right. It's kind of cool, actually. It, it actually looks better without you wearing the jacket. Do you want to take the jacket off? Uh, well... i just put this on my nipple then. No! Of course, you have to be difficult, didn't you? Okay, so I went through and I made a selection on my phone of like all the um, top questions that you guys had. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put this in order. So they're a little bit like similar questions are asked together. I'm going to just ask them to you at random and we'll, we'll, we will both answer. Don't look yet. But can I do a pass? I, no, um, there's no, there's no pass. You have to, you have to answer it. Okay. So we're just gonna we're just gonna head right into it. So first question is what kind of questions are they? It's random. It's random. It's like it's all over the place. So okay, okay. So are they for me or is it for you? No, it's for both of us. Oh great. These are questions they asked us for both of us ah, to answer. Perfect. Okay, so yes, we're gonna start randomly. So what things do you have in common versus oh. your biggest? Opposites or differences. You go first. No, I want to hear from you. You go first. I just went first. Okay, we have we have a lot in common, really? Miss and I. Yeah, I think we definitely do. I think in common, we are both very like. Uh, <laughs> so we I don't know because I'm common. complimenting myself, so it sounds good. But I think we're both very polite and respectful people. I think we are very similar in that way, and I think the way we can be opposite sometimes is maybe you're more of an overthinker. And I just, um, maybe I'm a bigger risk taker. Would okay. you agree with that? Yeah, it doesn't also matter if I agree or not. And what, what do you think? Well, I think in the things we are different is that you are very honest. I mean, I'm also honest, but like you're very straightforward. You're very, like, you know what you want and how to say it and you do it. You have no limits so whatever you want to do you think very big which is this sorry in the opposites or is this in the common? opposites oh so you think really big where i can be more smaller minded as in like what you can do or can achieve or stuff like that so that's what you you just uh, like keep going no um, <laughs> just no it's very sweet but just um how we what do we have in common okay how uh, we have in common i think that we're both very passionate we really yeah <gasps> oh, the opposite wasn't a problem. <laughs> yeah, because things that you do better. But no, we have a lot in common. I think we are really a bit of the same person, but we just do things in different ways, if that makes sense. Like our normal beliefs and stuff are very similar. You look like someone who's looking to either make a website or um, run your website on a better platform, then Squarespace is where you need to be. Squarespace offers hundreds of already made templates where you can go in, uh, pick your favorite one, still customize everything you want. You don't need to have any coding knowledge. It's super user friendly. I run my shop on there. I've been running my website on Squarespace for almost four years now. Um, I truly, truly love the user experience. It's so easy to use on the go as well. You can make quick changes on your phone, whether it's updating stock levels, changing text, or uh, changing the photos as well. If this sounds like what you're looking for, then do use my link, which is www.squarespace.com slash madharniki. In doing so, you receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. And we have more for sure, I promise. <laughs> yes, it doesn't like to be put on the spot also with these kind of questions, but we're gonna continue. Okay, what does the other do that is a pet peeve of yours? 
Oh. Well... And this is like, I think this kind of question means like small things that like... Sometimes you do like... I mean, <laughs> you do that a lot, but sometimes it gets to me, sometimes not. Yeah, like that. <laughs> you really did now, but that's... No, not. I was just showing it. Oh. But that's not really a pet peeve. Yeah, but that's it for now. Okay. And you do this... Is that a pet peeve? Yeah, I think so. And you sometimes do this thing when you eat that you like um, slurp. I don't up. slurp. You're I a very quiet in. eater, but you breathe in the food, so you're like... <gasps> Only with like soup a, or with something. No, like it's not. If it was with soup, <laughs> no. I would understand. But if you're having like a piece of something hard and you're sucking no. while you're eating, it doesn't make <laughs> <What>? sense. <laughs> no, it's that when it's quite hot, then I go like, so I can breathe in the hot air I to feel. I think so. Okay, then. Okay, but anyway, that's also not a pet peeve. That that's sometimes vibe. I say something is like that, and then he says it's different. Well, I love Keep how. Going. Well, you're. It's only because you're describing what my pet peeve is for you, and it's like, well, I'm telling no, you I'm what I'm telling it is. you what I'm actually doing. No, I get that, but it's still a pet peeve. If you guys weren't doing horses, what would you be doing? I'd probably be in prison. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> of course not. Netflix. Gymnastics. What would you be doing as a career? Oh, I would be a lawyer. <laughs> so oh. no, I, just, I know this. You've always told me this, and I and I oh, get I'll be it. I'll be a vampire. But you you also just said that you were like not very good at like speaking and like saying things. And that's why you go to school. With a yeah, I guess so. I would be a real estate agent. That would be my. That's where I wanted to go had the whole modeling thing not come up and then social media and all that kind of stuff. That's what I wanted to do. How are you two dealing with the changes? It must be hard. I have to be honest, the last video I was quite destroyed. <laughs> I was not feeling good. I've had multiple breakdowns. I was not in the best place. Yeah. But, knock on everything. She's, she's I, risen back. She has <laughs> evolved. She is a new person. She's made a comeback. No, but I feel like the last week I've had two or three good days. No. So that's really a lot better. And yeah. for you. And I think it's the same for me. The first week sure. was quite tough. Um, oh, <laughs> this is brother. something my brother does all the time and we not made a joke of it. I think it's like a joke for him too, but it's... <laughs> Tickles. Um, yeah, so I think the last, uh, like the first week was really challenging, but I feel like I found my rhythm and I'm starting to adapt to my surroundings and, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so I feel like I'm, I'm getting there. But thank you. Well. Sweet question. Yeah. How did you both meet? Like in real or got in contact? Well, I think both. <laughs> Don't say that like that. <laughs> so yeah. Oh. oh yeah, that's another thing you do. <laughs> oh, that's a pet peeve that yes has on me. I sometimes have like a one cough thing that sometimes. comes out. <laughs> and he gets very annoyed if I do one cough. No, you He says also... it has to be at least two or three. <laughs> no, but it's just like a tick of yours. I and think it's like a chronic thing. You also don't put your hand in front I of I think it's, it's like, like a chronic thing. You're talking... <coughs> it's like that. Anyway, okay, back to the question. How did <laughs> we meet? It. How did we both meet? So you actually messaged me on Instagram and you had messaged a few other people for like a promotion and a collab you wanted to do with some other horse accounts. Um, oh, no, I did it. <laughs> um, and then we kind of started talking from there. You already followed me years before that, but then you unfollowed me. Very nice. Yeah, I followed Yes already when I was 15. And Yes, I used to post like five or six posts at one time. And so I would be going well, through my feed. I did come up to your feed then. I would, going through, I would be going through my feed and I was like, all I see is this boy. I was like, I'm just going to unfollow him. And then I followed you again it's when so I was strange 17. That you like already knew me. I didn't even know him, so I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, such a, I'm such a fan. <laughs> But anyways, and then I think three months after I saw you because you were in Europe for family or work or... Yeah, I was in Europe and so we decided to meet up and we kind of like stayed talking. Hmm. Yeah. What's the most exciting starting a new chapter and what are you going to miss most? Well, I think the most <laughs> exciting thing about this new chapter is there's a lot of positive change. And I think um, we're very much in charge now in our lives and we know what we want. So we can really um, go for time, that. Yeah. While I feel like in the beginning, while we, when we set ourselves up in the beginning, we didn't have as many options and we didn't have as good of an idea of what we wanted because there was already so much change with me coming and living here for the first time and also you moving really far from where you were born. We were just kind of like, this will be fine. This, this seems really good for us. And now that we've really had, good. yeah, it was really good. But now that we had more time, we really know what we want. So I think that's something that I'm really looking forward to is creating um, 
a space for, for us and for myself and for our future that I know we can like keep going with. Something really for the long term. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to miss most? I think, to be honest, I'm not so bittersweet about like, I don't feel like there's something I'm really going to miss. I think, I think our old house I will miss, of course. Um, but it's not that I'm upset by it. I feel like it was the right thing to do. Um, and I do have obviously like emotions about it all, but I, I just try and focus on the, on the positive. What about for you? It's quite similar. I think, I mean, I will miss some things at the old home for sure. And it will always stay close to us. Yeah. Will you ever get a horse that isn't a Peary? No hate to Peary horses. <laughs> I already have no Peary horses. Huh? Oh yeah. You too. No, I only have Peary's. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. Sorry, Chase and Bear, up for adoption. No, no, I didn't oh, hear I like adopt that. Them. I think I will stay with the Pieris and with the Iberian horses. I'm not the biggest Lusitano fan, but if I get a if I find a really nice Lusitano, I will they go down really that path. Cool as well, yeah. Do you see yourself in the future buying something that isn't an Iberian horse? Yeah. Like what? Pony. A pony. Oh yeah, we talked about this. I want this. like maybe a cute Welsh, like a Welsh. Yeah. And um, I'm kind of open for everything. Like, of course, I like the Iberian ones, and I think they're good for what we do as well, and they suit us. But yeah. I would be quite open minded. Yeah. I think for me, oh, oh. what is that? Flower. Mm. I birds are throwing stuff on me. <laughs> I think for me, I just, I really resonate with the breed. I'm really passionate about the breed, so I wouldn't see myself in Poyos right next to us, and I wouldn't see myself going anywhere else. Would you like to have chickens again? Maybe in your new home. Do I answer? Yeah. Oh. Yes, but what I would like in the new home is a little pet area where I can have some little goats, maybe sheep, maybe a cow, some chickens, maybe a rabbit. Like a petting zoo type thing. Yeah, because I think that would be so cute. And then I can like take care of them and cuddle with them. How cute. But yeah. it needs to be super, super safe and a really nice area that they like fully protected. Yeah. What so I imagine is like, is that I, I, I get what you want, but I want to do it in like a really beautiful way. So it like adds to the natural landscape. So I would love to have like a beautiful flock of chickens. I found like the most beautiful type of sheep I think I've ever seen in the world. I would love to have some of these sheep. So like a few like yeah. really beautiful animals. But what I would like to I do also really is nice. having some rescues. It would be very cute. Like rescue what? Just animals, even there's chickens or like the ones that look so sad because they've been plucked. It's, no, they haven't been plucked. That's like the battery heads, you mean? Yeah. But yeah, for sure. I think if we have the right set up, then I definitely would want them. Yeah, and me too. Any more sales horses? So I'm actually going to do a vet check this week of a sales horse, which is really exciting. I'm going to slowly get back into it now that we have our setup and uh, the staff and everything. It's all coming together. Um, I'm going to be riding the sales horses myself now, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, so yes, there's definitely going to be more sales horses on the, on the horizon. Hi, do you have a girlfriend? Me? No. I have a horse. <laughs> and I have two little daughters. You? No, no girlfriend. Next question. Matt, any new and exciting modeling contracts coming up for you? Um, I think modeling is something that I've really put kind of like on the back burner because I'm, I, I wasn't really enjoying it and I wasn't enjoying the lifestyle that I had with it. I did it full time for like four-ish years. Um, and it's just not sustainable if you have horses, if you really want to do it well. Um, and now that we have several other businesses and I'm able to make my income in a different way, I'm in a really lucky position that I, uh, I chose to take a step back. And I just really enjoy what I do now so much better. I feel like it's but if you a have much some healthier environment. Fun opportunity coming up, then yeah, I'm always open to like uh, clients uh, reaching out with a job through my agencies or anything like that. That's not a problem. Uh, but I'm not actively going to cast and birds chasing jobs. Doing? I don't know. There's just like I think they're cleaning themselves, <laughs> and all the feathers no, are coming these down. No, not feathers. This is isolation from the roof. Oh, great. Oh, is there one stuck or something? No. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. The question is, it's not even really a question, but it says be nicer to yes sir. Me? No, me. Oh. No, you? How does that work? <laughs> you and your 10 personalities? Yeah. No. Why? I want you to comment on this. I, I'm not going to say a single word. I just want to get your take <coughs> on this. Yeah, so 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. Between us, I am the most difficult one. You are no, usually... you're not difficult. Well, you are usually the easier one. You just say things in a certain way that might come across a certain way. But I think we have this more banter together where yeah. we go that way. But I feel like I can definitely snap at you more. Like I have less of control about my emotions sometimes than you do. When it's not like mean to you, but like... You are very nice to me. So thank you all for caring, but you don't have to worry. Matt is very, very nice to me. And I think I am the most difficult one. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. I don't think you're difficult. I just think we have a very open and honest relationship and we don't have to filter like how we speak to each other. Like if we think something, we just say it. And I think maybe for a lot of people, like that's not normal. And they think like, oh, that's strange that they're doing it to each other, but it's never out of a place of... And I mean, you guys also have to understand that when we make videos, there's an element of comedy to it as well. And if Yes and I are going to be constantly in agreement and just saying, oh, you're great, you're great, like it's not dynamic, it's not fun, and it's just not our personality. And it's also not reality. No, it's just not how it is. So we just do how we always speak to each other, but we also have really nice moments. Yeah, like, we tease each sometimes other. Sometimes you say things that aren't the nicest, but you don't mean them like that. No, it's we never meant in a bad like way. That. And I think, I think we can say yeah. a lot in jest. Like we can take things to a certain level and know that it's not offensive, and maybe other people don't get that. Even though, to be honest, a lot of times when I see comments, I don't really see the problem. Like, sometimes people are like, oh my god, I can't believe you said it in that tone or you said it like that. And I'm like, you know, if I don't have an issue and if Yes doesn't have an issue and it's definitely like a reciprocal thing that goes back and forth. But I mean, it's, it's nice for strange. them saying things too. Uh, but yeah. I, there's also comments about me to watch you sometimes. No, when really. Not You're, all <laughs> <laughs> You're always the perfect one. But it's fine. I don't. I don't true. mind. I'm. I'm very confident in like how I am towards you and that I treat you well. So, yes. yeah. Hello. Okay. So uh, about the new property, someone said, "What's a design deal breaker when you're looking for houses?" So, do you get what that means? So like yes. when we're when we're looking for houses for sale, is there something that you're like, okay, straight away, no? Neighbors. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. For me, not next to a highway. No. Oh yeah, that's a good neighbors. one. No neighbors, no highway. Those are really good ones. And a lot of other things, but these are the main things for me. Nothing modern. Oh, like how's yeah. Like we would I mean, never we don't go. Want a square. We would never go for like a modern design. That's just not us. Um, and we would never go for something that's really small in terms of land for our horses oh, because we, we want the horses to be out. Oh, I and was thinking the other day actually. It's crazy. I mean, it's not crazy, but. We are very lucky too, but that we do all these things. So our horses have a lot of space and we get to like yeah, it's share all for the with horse them. is what we do. It's very nice. Yeah. And no clay, no clay soil. That, oh, that's, yeah. a, that's a straightaway no. We for want us a good ground. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So they can be out. Side all year. This question is uh, just your horses at your new house. So I think someone's saying like in the, in the future when we find a property, is it just going to be for us? Yes, I think for sure because what is the nice thing when it's just your horses is that it's just your own responsibility. Yeah. I do really enjoy having these people here at this table. Yeah. Um, but you always have to make sure you're here, you're around, um, which is not a problem for now. But I think when you have your own home, then you also want to just be able to leave for one or two hours and they just chill in the field without Yeah, you. I do long a little bit for, for privacy and I think that's something that really makes me think that for sure for the future property it'll just be for us because even though everyone here is super 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 lovely you want to be able to just have moments where you're just like quietly not having to speak to anyone or like if you're walking in your home you don't have to think okay i need to close the blinds so people don't look like you know we were very private at our old house and there was a lot of benefits to that and i do miss that so that's definitely something that i we said to ourselves from the beginning you know it was just going to be a private property even though it's bigger um, but that's definitely something that is going to remain like that i think and for me it's just i think it's just more so we don't have to worry too much yeah as and well. it's nice for our hosts as well and then i can have more <laughs> has yes been teaching matt how to speak dutch it's more my grandma Oh my god, yeah. Because when you, like, you don't really speak Dutch to me. I mean, you do it a bit. I but then when I we went around. to my grandma, all of a sudden there was like this whole conversation happening. I understand a lot of Dutch now. So I can always kind of see where the conversation is going and, and get a basic understanding. Um, I think you're so cute. She's just looking outside. That's the only one. Sorry. On. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Uh, yeah, so I, I definitely like understand a lot more Dutch now. 
um, and I can keep up good. with the conversation and I know a couple of words so I could I could get away with just speaking kind of like locally we should do once people. I think like a lesson or something and then I just speak Dutch to you and what I would also like to do for videos that we have ear things in and I need to do whatever you say hmm. that's but maybe one for the future we can do one in Dutch that'll be difficult for you if yeah, I tell you what best to do the other way around. yeah um Oh my gosh, I laughed so hard when I saw this question. <laughs> Did Yessa finish his logo to put on the red truck? Well, actually you said there's no point doing it anymore. That's not the question, Yessa. Yeah, so what? I have the logos ready. No, the that's not, that's not. The, the question is, did Yessa finish his logo to yeah, put on the red truck? Exactly, because it wasn't finished yet. But my logo is finished. The only thing is that we have plans with the truck that we might um, change the truck. So that's why I haven't put it on yet. Like buy, like upgrade, like buy a newer truck. Yeah, and then this one can go to someone else. <laughs> is your logo on the truck? No. How long has it been since we've owned that truck? But this is not really fair because I wanted to do it and you said, no, don't do it. No, I said at this point, there's no point. See? It had been four years. No, so I'm it like, wasn't four years. well, how long have you had the truck? Not four years. Four and, years. And it was already two years ago that it was finished. But anyways, <sighs> doesn't matter. Four years, still no logo. And that question made me laugh a lot because I think people understand you a lot better. I mean, how did someone even remember that? Like, that's really impressive. Mm. How many acres are you looking for in the next property you buy? I don't know how it works in acres. Same hectare, I'll translate it. Eight, ten, more. So that's like between 15 to 20 acres. At least. Minimum. I mean, more is, I mean, it should also not become this huge thing that you're like, oh, how am I ever going to deal with this? Like, yeah. it needs to be nice and cute. Especially because you and I want to have everything manicured. Like, we, I think maybe me more than you, but we, you also really appreciate when everything looks like perfect. And you just can't do that with like 50 acres. At least it's not feasible for us. We would need like a whole team just for the garden and that's not what we want to do no we want it Again, all to feel want really privacy. homey still like that's what i really liked about the other place as well you live li literally with your horse so it's like you have your home but they're part of the home yeah and this also still sh still should feel like home to give you guys a little bit of a size perspective our old home was about like five acres it's like the almost two hectare the stables right now is close to 10 acres it's about it four and a half hectare. Oh, acres no it is three hectare i think no i think it's four and a half I don't think so. We need to double check. I mean, I think it looks very bigger than three hectare, but I think it's, it's not four. Big. If I remember correctly, it's four and a half. That's a um, lot actually already. Yeah, but it's a big place. But I don't think it is four and a half. But we're looking for double this. But anyway, just so you guys know, and answer, we answer the question then. Do you think you will permanently move onto the yard you are renting? So the stables we are at right now. Uh, no, because we're looking for another place. The stables um, that we are nice. at right now are beautiful and oh, they're really going nice. to be they're going to come up for sale next year. The owner wants to sell because she's moving on to other things. Um, it's like turnkey. It's ready to go. It's beautiful uh, five star facilities, but it's for us. It's a little bit in the wrong location and we want bigger as well. Yes. So that's the only reason why we wouldn't pursue but it. But it is a, a really nice. But place. for someone that's looking for this size, like in this area, which is also without sounding snobby, but this is one of like the best areas in the Netherlands in terms of like neighborhoods and stuff. You can't find something like this. So if you're interested in this place in maybe a little while. Next year, uh, next year will be for sale. Then definitely let, let us, us know. You can always send us a message if you're seriously interested about uh, a stable of 20, 30 stables in, in North Holland. Uh, you can always send us a message and we, we can connect you to, to the owner. Who is making decisions like selling the previous house? I think we both make decisions together. I think you are more the instigator. I think I plant the I've, seed. Because I feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm just sometimes very busy and I can't handle more things in my mind because it's very cute drinking. Yeah. But you, as I said before in the video already, like you can think really big. I can just kind of already be like very happy with that. and. Who live in that way too. no just like <laughs> oh <laughs> um so i think sometimes I, it's me but i think a lot of times it's you because you just think really big which i really like but i think the important thing to to about this question is decisions are always made by both of us oh, of when it comes to these kind of things like of course when it's my own horse like it's my own decision but when we share things it's always like a 50 50 but i think i challenge yes by planting certain seeds and just seeing, I say starting no. the conversation yeah, usually yeah. when i say no then 
It will be no. Yeah, if you don't want to do something and, and I know. do, then we have to either find a compromise or not go ahead. And I don't mean that my thing is the decision, but I mean like you do respect it if I yeah, of course. and the other way around. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to do anything that makes either of us unhappy. So it's kind of like whatever is going to make us both happy. And then is the it all goes option. how it should be going because then you go into the direction you should. Yeah. <laughs> how long will you stay at the new stables? like throughout the house hunting process. Well, it kind of depends when we find something. I think the property we want to find is not an easy one. It's not, uh, it's quite difficult to find like a lot of land in the Netherlands. Yeah. So but we can't be here unlimited time, no. of course, because it will go up for sale. So yeah, the, sta the stables will be up for sale next year. Uh, so we, I think within the next year, hopefully we will have a pretty good idea of what's going on. Yeah, then we of know where more. we're going or or you know if we found a place and maybe we're we buy it and we're still in the transitional stage of moving i don't know but i think within the next year i would like to have that more finalized do you have plan on breeding soon and having your own foals and there was also a lot of questions on here about you having because you know, i think a long time ago we mentioned that you wanted a foal so first you mentioned I want a dog before we had dogs and everyone was like, Matt, get him a dog, get him a dog. But I also now don't know why dogs, people don't think I can bite myself. No, I, I also don't know. Everybody always thinks, I'm just getting cold. Everybody just kind of thinks sometimes that, I don't know, I work, people. <laughs> it's his own money. <laughs> my own. Yeah. But I mean, I wouldn't mind if you, oh, they keep throwing stuff at me. I um, think, but yeah. um, I would like to have full for macho because I think it can be very cute to have a little uh, baby macho. He has yeah. foals already, but then for myself. And Antares has some semen in the freezer. So yeah. And I think for me and Porio, I'm planning, I'm organizing it now. I've said it before, but next breeding season, I'm going to have uh, frozen semen available from Emporio. So I'm in the middle of organizing that now. It's just very important for me that we collect somewhere close and that is going to do a good job. I don't want him getting hurt or anything like that. Um, and definitely at the new place, I want to start a whole breeding program for PRE horses <laughs> yeah, with Emporio. Oh, let's start with two. Yeah, I want to buy a couple of mares and like really start going into that. I think it's going to be, it would be so fulfilling for me to be able to have like falls out of Emporio and also to be able to share that with other people. All I wish for is that people could feel what like Emporio gives to me. And if, if I, if I can do that through breeding, that would make me, that would be like a life legacy Aww. for me. Yeah, it really would. Um, are you planning to buy a new horse, horses anytime soon? I'm open. Like I'm not. You're window shopping. Yes, I'm not looking, looking, but if there's anything nice that's young, that I feel connected to, then yeah. I'm looking for Yessa. <laughs> Yessa's window shopping and I'm going into the stores and I'm asking. I'm like, is there anything for sale here? Um, I'm making it my mission to find you something really Why? special. Uh, because I, uh, with PREs, unless, which is what we're looking for you for now, uh, that's what you wanted. Um, unless you're looking and you're looking in the right places, it's going to be really difficult for something special to just one be really thrown to you. Sorry, I interrupted. found one really nice one, but it was a scam. Oh yeah, there's a lot of scammers out there that show you these incredible horses and it's just, it's so, not, or maybe on, you get, like, you come for the horse to see it and it's another horse, it's like a whole thing. But yes, we're both looking, I'm looking for sales horses, I'm looking for some young horses for Yessa. Um, but there's no rush. There's no rush. Yeah. There's no only, rush, I said. I said there's no rush. Oh, I thought you said there's a rush. Only when <laughs> rush, there's a big rush. Only when something special comes up then we will pursue it. How is it living together? How are your chores divided? So you sit on the couch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, how is it living together? I think it's fun. It's nice. Um, now how are the chores divided? Guess I do the cooking. Guess I do the cleaning. <laughs> guess I do the that's not true. We have a cleaner, firstly. Yeah, that's true. But I do all the cooking. I do all the shopping, cleaning. We do both a little bit, I think. I think I do more of the cleaning I and do I do the laundry. The <laughs> I do. I try and handle yeah, like a lot of the laundry stuff. You think I can't do it right? Yes. <laughs> and then um, <coughs> I do like all the gardens and general property maintenance outside. Yes. Like the arenas, the hedges, so the grass. So what do I do then? You and cook. So that's it. But that's more than enough. I Cooking take is care a lot of, of the work. dogs. Yeah, well, I mean, I, do I think I do more do in the dogs, stables. No, I don't think so. I think we're pretty ego well You do outside there. more. I feel like I do more here, like near the stables and stuff like that, help with them. 
I'm not when, sure. When was the last time you did that? Did the stables. Today. What? When have you ever put a horse in the aqua trainer? Never. So. So I think it's just very easy. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, there's a natural flow but to it. But I feel it. like I'm also way, way more for work. Yeah. Like I get I to be here a lot, lot more. You are so, more from home. Yeah. But I don't mind that at all. I truly enjoy it. And I feel like we both, again, go to our strengths. Like, I detest cooking. And you don't mind it. And I don't think you're so into, like, taking care of the garden, for instance. And I really like it. So we kind of play to our strengths, I think. <laughs> we get this question. We get this question all the time. And is, are you and Yes related? I don't know. I don't know how you could look. Just because we both have... Well, you have blue eyes, but <laughs> just because we both have light eyes, that's like the only similarity I think that we have in the way that we look. I have the it worst be Dutch more, accent. It couldn't be more opposite, like well, skin but a lot tones, of, no, but hair listen, color. A lot of people think our face looks very similar. We get even in real life a lot of people that ask, once we were on the plane and I was sitting somewhere else and then um, he was like, oh, do you want your brother to sit with you? Yeah, like one of the... like flight attendants came. I, I love that they probably thought that we were like 15 or something. They were like, oh, they're sitting alone. Do you want your brother to come sit with you? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, I was like, I'm nearly 28. Uh, oh. What? I did it again. The... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, I can translate it. No, I'm going to read it <laughs> myself in Dutch. They say, how zou jij... No. <laughs> wait, wait. How zou... How zou jij je... Ultimate Drone House Beschrijven Oh cute Is that correct? And they said How would you describe your dream house? Wow See? I can do it So I think my dream house Speaks to like English architecture Old English architecture Probably like Victorian Architecture Like manor houses That kind of style um, Definitely like Either a stone or a brick facade, um, something that feels kind of like um, more formal, uh, symmetrical, and I don't know, a little bit like, yeah, like an old manor. I'm just gonna put some photos so you guys can see that that this is the kind of vibe that I like. What about for you? My vibe is your vibe. <laughs> it's the other way around. <laughs> um, well, I like kind of the far farmy. Kind I'll of put some style. photos of, I know what Yes is talking about, we've talked about this. I'm going to put some photos of what But thinks. also like, we have one picture of one I like and that's what I really like. Which one? The drawing? Yeah, I think so. Mm. And that's more like what I like. So that's what we'll go for. No. <laughs> okay, that's what Everyone like. in the comments, Maddie's always making the decision. Okay. Is <laughs> that? <answer> that? No. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. <laughs> but okay. it's also not even true what you have in your mind. No, it doesn't matter. I just thought it was funny. It's a very inappropriate question. Um, okay, so I think that's actually Are you going to end on that one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think that's actually uh, all the questions for this time. I really, really enjoyed making this Q&A. Did nice. you now? Huh? Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's nice very too. cute because sometimes I'm gone a lot or we're both busy. And then when we spend a day more together, he's like, I enjoyed my day spending with you. Yeah, <laughs> it's always cute. Okay, keep going. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm happy to. I would love to do this more often. So if you guys liked it, do let us know. Um, if you have any future questions for future videos uh, like this, just leave them down below. Then I can always look back and we can pick and choose some of these. Otherwise, you can go on my Instagram and I'll maybe make some polls there, some questions. Um, but that's it for today. Also. Oh. If you want to see more Horsewood Feet videos, do you want to mention something? Uh, do you want to... <laughs> okay, yeah. So, yeah, yes is right. Just to remind you guys really quickly that Horsewood TV now lives on YouTube. Our whole member section lives on YouTube with a really uh, well-revised price as well. So it's much cheaper. You can access all the videos and we also offer some free content as well on the main page. So do make sure to check it out. And if you're a member, there's literally 150 or more videos waiting for you. Yeah, which is super, if, super if cool. you get a membership on YouTube, uh, you become a member of the channel, you join the, the community, um, you all have instant access to um, a over 100 videos straight away uh, really informative top writers really fun and stuff like what we do here on YouTube so yeah and it's all high quality content so I hope you guys enjoy that we've received amazing amazing feedback so far from that so I'm so glad we took that step um, 
But yeah, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching, and we're going to catch you guys on the next one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.